So we were looking at what I call spoken word poet, and we start with this song. I am in the number. I am in the number. I am in the number. Saved by grace. Of course, spoken word poets are very interesting, and you know they are very moving rendition of their poems. And of course, they invite a lot of reflection. A good example that comes to mind is T.K. Chukunoeje, who basically tries to tackle the Nigerian situation through his spoken word poetry. And it really, a lot of times when you listen to him, you really need to reflect and see how we can make the country a better place. So the spoken word can actually be very powerful. And one of the things that comes to mind is if you look at the Survivor series, I recall a particular episode when somebody had an idol. You know, but these guys ganged up. They made him feel very comfortable. And they voted him out, you know, uh, even with the idol in his possession. So the spoken word is important, is critical. I mean, for you to be voted out with an idol in your possession, I mean, you could have paid your idol and made sure that you know you didn't lose out. But that didn't happen, you know. Uh, but let's go to scripture. John chapter one verse fourteen, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus Christ is the word, and he came and he dwelt within us. He dwelt among us. You know, so if people can be blindsided in a survival game, or you can listen to a spoken word poet, spoken word poet or a motivational speaker, and your spirit is lifted, how much more the word of God. We need to speak the word. We need to pray the word. We need to confess the word. We need to live the word so that our lives, you know, we can live fulfilled lives in line with God's will. 